right, we're at the panel betas and we're gonna see if the bull bar is color coded to the car. We've never seen the first time seeing it. First time seeing it right now, so it's big, isn't it? Thank so you. would this control both both lights? Yes. We'll take this. Quite at least. Yep. The next time I see this car, well, we'll be that one step closer from hitting the road, getting on the road. You cannot tell me that that's not a sexy patrol, huh? We wanted to go through the whole setup with you and tell you how much this whole setup cost us. How many metres are we away from the car right now? About 300 metres. <laughs> this is it. We have taken the car in to finally finish off the works with the car. The bull bars going on, the spotlights, the winch, the snorkel. What else was there? That's it. That's it. On this one, the only thing that is left after this is bush wraps and towing mirrors and we're done. So, we ordered the Animal Toro bull bar. It was uh, powder coated black, so we wanted to powder, uh, we wanted to paint it the same color as the car. Get color it color coded. Color coded. Alright, we're at the panel betas and we're gonna see if the bull bar is color coded to the car. We've never seen the first time seeing it. First time seeing it right now, so let's do it. Let's go see it. It's so strange because we've literally, like I was saying to Luke in the car, we've been waiting for this day for like what eight months, ten months? No, longer. Like it's just like it's all happening. Well, Two weeks, thirteen days today we're out and it's all happening. It's like woo. Alright, they're the time mirrors that we need. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Lady. Just here to pick up the bull bar. Under Luke or Alex, one of the two. You ready? Yeah. We're gonna go check it out right now. Right now. Are you ready? Put us all together. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks sick. Ah, that looks sick. Good, yeah. Do you want a hand to like, carry it or? Do you want a hand to take that look sick? That looks sick. Oh my yeah. god, what a job, thank you. Yeah, it does. I don't know if it's going to fit in the back. Yeah, yeah look at that. Oh, Alright, cool. Um, we're going to put it. Here the door. What's that? And you're just going to grab, pick it up, slide it straight up. Yeah, just slide it in like that. Bruno? Big muscles, ready, babe? <laughs> Oh man, it's big, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh man. I reckon almost needs to go the opposite way. Yeah, so I can roll. Yeah, yeah. something like this. Nah, it's got to go the other way, Luke. Which way? It's got to flip. Has to go upside down for sure. Lift up a bit so <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it going to fit? Yeah. Twist it this way. Yeah. Can we bring it? Yeah. Oh, just I reckon. Yeah, you can take it more. That's it. Perfect. Yay! Put something under there so that holds it up. You got. Oh, you want it to go down like that? Roll it like that. Put something in between here. Yeah, nice. Cause that's it, that's I reckon that's it enough. That's it's going to be very close here. No, I reckon it'll be heaps. We'll put something, if you've got something. Um, a seal. Seal's there. You've got that. Yeah. The thing's only going to come to here. That's, okay. that's, that's it. That's perfect. Got some tape. Yeah, I want she's close. Thank you guys so much. Sorry. All right. <laughs> the bull bar's in the car. <laughs> now I'm just going to jump in my mum's car and load up like all the baby seats and stuff in here and there's like additional bull bar stuff as well like there's so many pieces for this bull bar so fingers crossed as much as the bull bar is in hopefully now we can get everything else in as well i genuinely right now just can't believe that like the bull bar's in the car like the bull bar's in the car it's it so drive this car up fingers crossed between this car and the little bit of space that is left in the patrol we can get everything in. I was a little bit embarrassed too. I don't know if any other parents like feel this way, but I was literally taking out those car seats. My God, the crumbs and the little toys and stuff underneath. Crazy. All right, we're here. Tracks Industries. But we're going to go in now. See you a bit. And um, yeah, we are late. We're always late. But yeah, it is what it is. Hello. Oh, hi, how are you? Good, how are you going? Good. I am so sorry. No, no. What a morning, my goodness. Look at all this stuff. 
Biscuits, are you excited seeing this? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Luke was just saying before, these like the spotties that we're getting, but they're not the Evo ones that we're getting. Yeah, the Evo ones are different. They're ones, more yeah. like, um, what's the, the shape? The, like hexagony yeah. than yeah. round. Okay, hey? so the hexagon ones, yeah. They're yeah, more yeah. like, got more body to them. You can open if you want it to. No, nah, it doesn't matter. That's all right. Oh, Surpri no, surprise yeah. me at the end. We'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, surprise me at the end. Hey, so would this control both both lights? Yes, both at the same. So when you press, well, the light comes off. All right, which one do you like? That one or the other? Is there two we can pick from, you're saying, or just the one? Uh, yeah, yeah, there is this round one you can pick from. But okay. the reason, if it was my car, the reason I didn't do this is it just looked like a round. Your okay. light's not round anyways. Yeah, mm. does that light up Th They're too? called spotlight, but it's more okay. like that round if the it was just okay. that. Whereas it's this, that you know that it's Matches. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll yeah. do that. Because your light's steady light, isn't it? Yeah. 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 How far do you want me to come in? Uh, just, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll guide you too. What do you want me to do? Just guide? Yeah, guide it off yeah, so yeah. it doesn't That's hit it. the seat. That's it, so it doesn't scratch the seat. That's it. Got it, Lee? Yeah, you can leave it now. As long as we don't let it touch at the top, so you're... That's it, that's it. Leah. Yeah. Where does it go? Uh, I'm just press it. Yeah. Like yeah. that? Yeah, because what I was going to say, we normally do it like this. Yes. What we do is uh, the off-road animal guys in their fitting kit would have given a double-sided tape. Mm -hmm. But what we have found is over the uh, hotter months that might come off. Okay. So you'd have to re-stick it again. What do you think? We can we can do a glue on there. The only thing is the glue takes time to stick here. Yeah, so. Because we have some time on hand, uh, like if we stick the glue later today, mm -hmm. we won't be able to work for at least 24 hours on it. Okay. It's just like uh, one of those glues where it needs time for curing. The next time I see this car, it'll be that one step closer, well, we'll be that one step closer from hitting the road, getting on the road. Anyway, we're so nervous and he rang us yesterday. He said the car is ready to be picked up. So we're here. We'll be waiting for this moment. I'm a child free so we can really enjoy the moment too. Yeah. Know? Yes. <laughs> and this is it now. This is like another step closer for us to hit the it's, road. And it's October. Like We've been envisioning these works since January. So it's been a long 10 months. Since we're in cans. These physical work. So let's so the, go. The car's ready. All right, we're going to go. go. I need to see her. 200 meters away. Let's go. Alright, so literally like we're just like where this yellow sign is, we just turn is it in there or is it in the next one? I think it's in this one. Yeah, it's here. No, it's not. Are you sure? Oh that's right, we went in last time. There's a fresh fruit market there, man. It's in here. Alright, I don't know if it's sitting out the front. I got no idea. Okay, it's not out the front. So literally uh, Trax Industries, it isn't on Trax, it's Trax Industries. It's just here at the end. Turn it, turn it. Um, so it is not out the front. Should we park the car in front? Oh, there it is. I think I see it. No. No, don't. How do you want to do this? Should I park the car like... I think that we should just stop right now. I think we need to park here. Just park here. Do not look. Don't look in the warehouse. I'm going to park, man. Don't look in the warehouse. Let's walk up together, hey? Yeah, right. Okay. I'm, I just want to look. I just want to look so bad. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay, give me Do it. not open your eyes, promise. I won't. I'm not looking. I haven't looked. <laughs> okay. Alright, you ready? <laughs> uh, I don't okay. know if I'm ready actually. Oh my god, I can see the boat. I can, I can see, see the boat. The boat. Yeah. Good, it's faced the other way, so it's bums to us, it's friends not to us. Should we go into the shop? Um, We're going from the door? Yeah. yeah. Entry to workshop. Yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, let's go in. Oh my god. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, great. Wow, looks sick. That's crazy. Looks completely different. It looks crazy. Wow, it looks sick. It looks hot. Those spotties Even too. a snorkel, man. 
Yeah, it looks sick. So I'm just moving the car now. Luke's in there learning about like how to use the winch and the spotties and all that sort of stuff at the moment. But far out, like it looks incredible. Like I, it doesn't even look like our car. The only reason why I would have recognized it is because number one, the boat's on the roof, obviously. And we didn't clean it before it went in. So that's the only way that I noticed it was our car. If I'd seen that like parked with no number plates, I wouldn't have even guessed that it's our car. It looks incredible. Woo! All right, I'm driving home right now. The car feels different with the bull bar on, like, and it looks, oh, I can't even talk right now because all the works from the car is finished. I'm so excited and I don't know what to say. The circle's here, the bull bar's there. I'm just so pumped. I don't even know what to say to you right now, so. I'm just gonna drive home, take it all in. I wanna get the car cleaned and then I wanna show you what it looks like. You cannot tell me that that's not a sexy patrol, huh? Mate, we've been waiting. Oh, <laughs> you guys know how long we've been waiting for this moment for, so we're super grateful. But we're home now. We're home now, and we wanted to go through the whole setup with you and tell you how much this whole setup cost us. Let's run through it. Let's start at the back. So we, well, we've got a GVM upgrade. Yeah. The 4499. Yeah, 4499 kilo GVM upgrade. We got it done through DMW. DMW? Yep, DMW. Um, and so that there, we decided to go with the largest one that we could do. And we also went through DMW as well because we've seen so many people go through them and they've got great reviews. So the GVM upgrade that we got done at 4499, that cost us $11,280 to get that done. It has been essential already in our trip though, hey? Yeah, we needed it. We needed the extra weight in the car. Then on top of that, if we look at the back of the car, we did get uh, Anderson plug done on the back of the car. That cost us, what was it, $900? $900. Yeah, and this is for, so what the Anderson plug does, so when I'm driving along with the caravan, you know, if you're, if you're camping out in the caravan and your battery's not 100% full, this will send charge to the battery, so it just gives it that charge. And there's a lot of you that are going to be saying right now, $900 for an Anderson plug, why did they have to spend like $900 for an Anderson plug? And that was a cash job too, right? So the $900 was because our voltage system in the van and our batteries, it actually needed like 75 mil cabling. Do you remember? Was it 75 it was... mil? And it wasn't, Quiring. it's like a battery cable basically. A bit, I'll show you actually. Like have a look at it, how thick it is. Right, yeah. two of these going to All the, the, um, the, obviously to the battery of the, of, the, um, of the car. Yeah. Right, and even the Anderson plug, look how big it is, right? And it wasn't just a standard Anderson plug like fitting that we had to get done. So it did cost us quite a bit. We were a bit shocked and thrown by the yeah. Anderson plug cost, but it is what it is. And just quickly as well, just in saying that, even the auto lek that, that did the job, right, and I told him how w what size cable we needed, and he's like, that's like hydraulic hose thickness. He's like, yeah. that can't be right. It's I like trucker, that's what he weighs yeah. with trucks, he said. And I said, yeah. bro, and he's like, and I said, I'll call you back. So I r rang the caravan manufacturer and I said, are you sure this is the wire we need? He goes, mate, he goes, I do it for a living, you're set up. And yeah. we'll go through the caravan set up separately, but he's like, that's what you need for the Anderson plug, so. So now we're gonna go around to the side of the car and we're gonna talk about tires, rims, and obviously brakes. So we got our electric brakes done pretty early on up in Cairns. They were a little bit expensive, but that cost us $1,585 up in Cairns. And then we were lucky enough, we're proudly sponsored by Mod King's ROH wheels and Maxxis tires. And so they gave us these beastie tires, like they are incredible. And we love them so much. Even like the ROH rims, like they just make the car, hey. We upgraded these when we did the GVM upgrade because you actually have to upgrade your tires. So it was like the perfect opportunity. Wasn't yeah. It? <laughs> perfect excuse And if you do a GVM upgrade, they actually keep your old tires and rims. Like I wanted them back so we could sell them, <laughs> but they don't do that. So yeah. just to give you a typical Typical Luke wants so to sell them. What's next? So now we get to the good stuff. Snorkel. Yeah. Oh, actually, the boat. Should we do the boat? Our uh, roof rack. The roof rack and the boat. And if you're wondering still, tomorrow is the day that Alex and I are going to attempt to take this off. Not attempt. You and I have to work we out to, tomorrow yeah. how it comes on and off. We can't attempt anymore because there's eight days. Yeah, but why I say attempt is because we haven't tried to get it off yet. <laughs> yeah, Everyone true. asks me, bro, how are you going to get the boat off? And I'm like, I don't 
I haven't even thought about it because we're doing that much shit around yeah. getting ready to hit the road. Um, anyways, all right, so roof racks, what were yeah. they worth? $850 for the roof rack. So that was actually like we were, I was expecting the roof rack to cost us a lot, but because we went the heavy duty arm bars instead of doing like a roof rack, obviously for weight, if you've seen our content before, 850 bucks for the Rhino roof rack heavy duty arm bars. Our boat on the top, if you haven't seen our footage of that, that is from Brisbane Yamaha. So we've got the Quintrex 350 Explorer on the roof. This hasn't even touched water yet too, so no. I'm hanging to get this in the water. That's the boat situation. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to... Snorkel. I actually love this this snorkel that we've purchased. I thought it was the smaller one. It was the thing that I um, worried about the most, actually. And when we seen it yesterday, man, I was just like, yeah, that lucky it's this one yeah. because it looks good and it's going to do the job for what we need. We were going to go the the stainless, stainless steel snorkel, but apparently we we looked it up and this safari, these snorkels here, they suck more. And actually the guy was saying as well, he doesn't like about the stainless steel snorkels is He's saying if you're out bush and it gets really, really hot, he goes, what happens to the black stainless steel snorkel? Yeah. It gets red, red hot. And then and the silicon. The silicon in, in, in the snorkel goes soft and it moves. And it like, obviously if it moves, you gotta let air in and all that sort of stuff and dust in, so. And on top of that too, there's not a lot of engineering that's been done appar apparently. And like, this is just secondhand knowledge. So you can tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but apparently there's not been a lot of engineering for the stainless steel snorkels. Yeah. Um, but with the safari snorkel, like they're engineered, engineered to the car. So that's why we went with the safari. But and don't I get me wrong. I actually like it. Do you know why I like it? Why? Sorry to cut Go you ahead. off. Just quickly. Do you know why I like it? Because it's different texturing. I feel like if we went the stainless steel, it would be like steel, steel. Where this is like a different texture, and I like textures. Yeah, same. Do you know what I mean? reckon it looks beasty. Like check that yeah. out, man. Like get off there, bug. Like look at that. Yeah. All right. So the snorkel, so you know, supplied and fitted was one thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars. Boom. Supplied and fitted. All right. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's move on. This is the best bit, hey. And then we'll give you a lump sum of like overall total cost. Total cost, what everything costs, okay? Yeah, total cost. So now we're obviously going to move to the front of the car, which is the best bit of the car. This is also the bit that took the most work too. So. As we've said on our um, videos before, so we went with the off-road animal Toro bull bar. And the reason that we wanted that was we loved the look of it. We yeah. looked at the ARBs, we looked at like a few other ones. This one, for some reason, it just like gripped both of us straight away. I'll, hey. I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to put a bull bar on the car at all. Yeah, he right loved it start. stock. I just said, we'll leave it, you know, we'll organise light spotties to go on it somehow. But you know what, doing the trip that we're doing now, you got to have so a bull essential. bar. It's so, you know, uh, we went to, uh, obviously you guys know, but we went from from Victoria to Queensland in Alex's Havel. Yeah. And when we hit out back at, um, out back New South Wales, was it? Yeah, just New South Wales, first day in our First day, we, I clipped the kangaroo in our Havel, you know, and I was, pro I probably, I was doing about 70 Ks and I probably hit the rear about 40 to 30 Ks. But that was scary. And it still did damage to the car. So I was just like, you know what, we're going to be, doing these, we're going to be going up and down these roads, flat stick, so we need a bull bar. Anyway. With the Toro bull bars, the animal Toro bull bars, there is a massive weight on them, hey? Yeah, how long was it? It was, there is an average wait time of eight to 12 weeks for the actual bar, and then if you were wanting it colour-coded, it's an additional six to eight weeks on top of that, and we wanted it colour-coded, right? I ended up calling, like, animal, like off-road animal direct. And I spoke to this amazing bloke there and he like, he organized the bar for us within, I swear to God, like what, four weeks? To, to get it sent? To yeah. get it sent to us. He worked at Animal Tour, didn't he? Yeah, and then on top of that, he's like, don't wait for us to like, or the guys to color code it. He's like, what you need to do? He's like, just take it to a panel beater. Mm. And so that's exactly what we Obviously did. Obviously, you hey, guys know that. Works. So that cost us, was it 800 Yeah, so, nah, so the bull bar fitted... I'm talking about the colour coding. Colour coding was 800 bucks. Cash. The bull bar fitted, supplied and colour coded. So all up, the bull okay. bar cost us... $5,140. Um, so that was the bull bar. So that's obviously the most expensive bit, but that's the biggest bit. Um, yep. Then from there, we did get it, obviously. Are you ready? The spotties? Yeah, so we got two spotlights and steady or steady? Steady, steady, steady. Steady or steady? Steady. <laughs> so we went with the steady Evo spotlights. We got one flat and we got one spot. beam. Yes, spot and beam. Is that right? A spread, a spread and spot. 
A s- no, it's a spot and a floodlight. Yeah, it's like a spread. Yeah, but yeah. that's what it's actually called. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we loved like the Evo design. Like I love like that they're not completely round. I like the edginess of them. So yeah. I'm super happy with them. Put down in the comment section if you um. If you've tried, if you've used, if you've got one of these or you've seen them being used or hey, the actually, performance in them, let me know. I actually saw two. Oh my God, Luke's wiping my fingerprints <laughs> off the case. Like, you know you were in love with this car when you're wiping fingerprints off it the case. Like it's not clipped in properly. No, no she's in. Um, but yeah, we're super happy with these that we chose the Evos. And then we did get a light bar. So it is off-road animal. So same as the bull bar. It's stock standard. It comes with it. When you no, purchase it doesn't. It. What, with the... With yeah, it's an add-on. No, but this comes cut out for the light. Yeah, but that's not. Yeah, you, yeah we had to purchase that off them. The actual light's them. not. Yeah. Yeah, so the light isn't. So Evo, Spotlight and the light bar, fit it, supplied and fitted, was $1,480. And then last thing. This bad boy I'm hanging to inch. use. Um, so we got the Carbon Off-Road 1200, I believe. Is it 1200? Yeah, yeah 1200. 1200. Yep. Um, and yeah, as much as we haven't tried this out yet, I'm super hanging to try it out. It does come with like a wireless remote and then a plug-in remote too, which is going to be super yeah. handy. Um, but yeah, that is... That's pretty much it. That's our car. Now comes a fun bit. Do you know what it is? Tell them what it is. Put and this action. is... And this... What do you mean? Put the car in action. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to tell them how much it all costs. What's that there? I don't know. I was just looking at myself in the mirror. Um, and you know what, guys? We didn't even do everything that we wanted to do to the car, right? We wanted to put a long-range fuel tank. We wanted to put the back bar on, but it was just getting a bit pricey, right? On top of that, like Apple CarPlay. Yeah, Apple CarPlay. All of that sort of stuff. But it's pricey, number one. But number two, obviously when it comes to caravanning and like we are going to be living in this van now, so... And this car. So we wanted to like start with the essentials of what we needed. Get our weight right. Work out the weight in our GCM and make sure that, you know, we're in weight now. And then go, all right, well, we can add an exhaust or we can add a rear bar. The exhaust we haven't done. Whatever it is. But at the moment, we're like, let's just do what we need to do. Essentials. And then we can always add to it. We can always add, yeah. And because I think that makes it fun too. Yeah. When you don't just do everything at once. Like, it's like this process of, like, seeing your vision come to life. Right, that's right. So, yeah. Total cost. Just wait a second. And I like how they've got the sensors at the front. Did you notice that? Yeah, that's why I jumped in the car yesterday. Like, all the sensors on the bull bar. You know, we've got these, these, um, I can't remember, was this factory? These yeah, lights here? They, these lights are from factory. So Animal Toro even give you that cutout for the fog lights. But the I just love the that. bar. Like, it's just you a know? hot bar. Yeah, and we, when we got it colour-coded, so there was an option, just quickly, Al. So we got the bull bar colour-coded, but we had this bash plate underneath. The guy's like, do you want to colour-code that? And well, Alex and myself were like, I don't know. We No, don't touch that. We actually like how it's a different colour. And I like that we didn't colour-code this too. We left it the matte black. Yeah, the matte black. Because that's so what, matte that's... black in there and here, just to give it a bit more definition. And that's the colour of the bull bar that it was. So do you reckon we made the right decision? Yeah, would you leave it colour-coded or would you left it matte black? Let yeah. us know in the comment section. Maybe okay. matte black. But then nah, it's too I much don't... black. I like it colour-coded. Yeah. And if you've been doing your maths along the way, chuck into the comment section now what you think all of these cost. Just give I'll us wait a... for it. Go. Go. Put Go. it in there. Total cost. You want right, to say you it? Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. All right, total cost for the car was 23... 830. $23,830. And we're not completely finished yet. So now you understand why we didn't do everything. So yeah, that is our patrol. This is where she's at today. We're in love with her and I can't wait to get some red soil in all these beams and so on and so forth and take it off road. I don't. I'm hanging. I'm actually really hanging. Yeah, so I'm But, like, it's so now. funny. We've gotten this done and then we went and got it cleaned. And I said to Luke, I'm like, I am so taking with us a can of, like, tyre shine, hey? Yeah. Because it just looks so good when everything's black. Like, it looks so great. But tomorrow, Next obviously, episode. we're taking the boat off the roof. Yeah, so we'll so. film that. And then after that, we're going to reveal where we're going for our next stop, which is... How, how far away from it? Like, it's like 15 days away. We're yeah. leaving. I'll give so. you guys a hint. Chuck it in the comment section if you can guess it or not. But where it is, is over 4,000 kilometres from here. So where we're staying at Christmas is over 4,000 kilometres from Geelong, Victoria. So Chuck there's in the, the first little hint. Chuck in the comment section. Where do you think we're spending Christmas? And we'll see you on the next one.